The one thing about Roddy Piper is that he understood and knew people. And he loved being a pro wrestling TV villain. He embraced it. He loved it when it was not really safe to be a pro wrestling villain back in the day. I made the quote, I said, the wrestling business was made for Roddy Piper and Roddy Piper was made for it. Roddy loved the business more than anybody I think that I ever met. As I've always said, everybody's got a price, but there are some things that are priceless. The friendship that I had with Roddy is priceless. I'm just gonna go on record as saying he's the greatest heel in the history of our business. Uh, he was fearless, he knew how to get heat, and he wasn't afraid of heat. I find myself reaching for the phone all the time to give Roddy a call. He was, he was more than, uh, you know, so much more than uh, any of the other wrestlers were to me. He was a guy that mentored me and helped me in the very beginning of my career. He gave me advice, you know, back in a time when nobody was giving advice to me. You know, there's no such thing as a star. You know why they call you a star? So they can pay you less money. When you finish a performance, you wait an hour and you look on your door and see if your star is still there. It's not there. Back in my day, the wrestlers seemed a lot tougher. What would you know about wrestlers? Your grandfather is not boring. You probably have a lot more in common with him than you think you do. Back in the year 2013, your granddad travelled the world, interviewing wrestlers. Some of the most famous wrestlers of all time, actually. You expect me to believe that? I was fortunate. Wrestlers tend to be very guarded. Anytime you're able to pick up the phone and, and, and call a kid, that looks up to you and, and reveres everything that you say and that you know that it's possible that you can make a difference in this person's life. I'm like, wow, I wonder what's going to happen now. It makes me curious. Like, why did I get railroaded off the path I was on? Everybody knew way too much about me already, or at least they thought they did. So the last thing I wanted to do is give them a page out of my diary. I would like somebody to say it's fake to get in there with one of those guys and wrestle with them and see how fake it is. If you're a wrestler and you forget that you were a fan, then you don't understand what it's about. We just went in the ring, wrestled, you know, wrestled hard and uh, fast and a, bit, a little bit acrobatic, you know. The wins and losses are what they are and, and you walk away from, from this sport with, with that integrity. People are never happy, you know, and, and it's like, okay, if you're never happy with what's going on, but let me give you something that will really not make you happy. I thought back in your day, wrestling was fake. It was as fake as your imagination.